Hello, my friends of Quality Mobile Gaming. Today I would like to show you the amazing PlayStation 1 emulator Duck Station. And I'm running here Metal Gear Solid. What's a Russian gunship doing here? With widescreen and upscaling. Cutscenes seem to be a little bit buggy, but bear in mind that this is still an early version of the emulator. I think it was just released a couple of weeks ago. Nevertheless, the best PlayStation 1 emulator on Android right now, all things considered. Let's see. Well, a game actually crashed. That's something I notice with this game that sometimes you get some crashes here and there. Um, let's see why that is. We go on advanced and disable all enhancements. Oh, I've been playing around a little with this emulator and see how it works and this is how you would usually see the game with no, no enhancements you see the ID. game footage is really stretched That's and it's really friendship. pixelated but no it's probably not gonna crash and i think the culprit here really is the or are the cutscenes let's skip this real quick and then i show you what settings you can choose for running this game with the the best graphics possible on your phone. Jeez, this game is so infamous for all these cutscenes. I mean, I love these cutscenes. I love the story, but I just want to show you the game right quick. If it will ever let me. Okay, so here we have, right, the game as you would know it from PS1, except for that it's been stretched to fit my screen ratio. And uh, now we go into the settings and I'll enable the enhancements. And you can see the game is no longer being stretched. It looks much cleaner. Well, as clean as a PS1 game can look, I guess. And yeah, it does look pretty nice actually, all things considered. And like I said, sometimes I noticed some crashes. I mean, we just had some crashes there, but that's only in this game. It seems that the cutscenes Whose footprints are, these? are really the culprit here. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Oh my god. Yes, I did it. And. See how far I can get before being spotted. Huh? A surveillance camera? Really? Huh? Whose footprints are these? And then I can show you. Hmm. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> That's not good. Ooh, but I made it. Uh, let's just get in there real quick. And geez, it seems as if the game has crashed again. So maybe Metal Gear is really not a good example because emulator, I mean, they're still working on it, very early version, which is a shame really, because it looks just so much better with the enhancements turned on. So since this game doesn't work really that all that well, I'll show you a different game. And let's see uh, something else. We have Bushido Blade here. No enhancements. And let's turn on the enhancements. I think here they actually work much better. This game. And there you see it looks just so much better already. 
some slowdown here. Actually, quite a lot of slowdown. So, but Bushido Blade is a very demanding game. And we can go into the enhancements and then we see that I have resolution set to 180p and let's reduce that to 720p. Also, I have lots of other enhancements enabled. You can enable most of these for the texture filtering. XBR really looks the best, but it's just not running well as for now. Um, when we, when I later show you guys some PSP emulation, you can actually use the XBR texture filtering and it makes games look just so amazing, especially games with 2D backgrounds. But here for the, for the duck station emulator, um, just keep it bilinear for now. Widescreen hack works for most games and that is really the thing about the Duck Station emulator, where I think it's worth the download because this makes the games just look so much more modern. We also have more texture corrections here, and you can enable all of these, like I have. And whenever you get into some trouble, like I just did with Metal Gear, disable all enhancements, and then you can see what's going on, and you can try out do some trial and error here and there until you get it work fine. And this should work fine now. I mean, you need to consider the fact that I'm recording my screen. So that's also taking some of my phones, of course, CPU, power, oh, and I died. Um, but it works. And the emulator looks pretty clean. Yeah. Upscaled here with bilinear texture filtering. Come on, dude. Don't make it so difficult. Whoa. Really? Whoa. Let's try a different stance. Maybe this. He just doesn't want to die, does he? Oh, I thought he was going to kill me there. And he actually almost did. Jesus, just die already. This dance is no good. I'll try to find a stance. Is he actually going to kill me? Okay, there we go. Alrighty. We did it. So this is how Bushido Blade looks on the Duck Station emulator and it runs on 720p. Runs pretty good. Okay. All things considered that this is a, still a very early version of the emulator. And what else could I show you that is of interest? Um, maybe F Fellow Me is a fun little game. Let's see here. Oh, I'm already in the game. And why not? Uh, but we can check the settings. And Fellow Me, I think, actually works. This is still one thing that you, if you change the settings for one game, it automatically changes the settings for all other games. This is something that will probably fix in a new version of the emulator because all games are different, right? Some games might work with 720p, some games might work with 1080p, some might even work with texture filtering. So they don't. what you don't want is to have the same settings for all games, but as for now, in this emulator, still very early version. Once you change something, it changes for all games. And follow me, yes, we can run in 1080p, widescreen, and this game is a true classic. It's just this crazy 
really crazy card game. It's just so Japanese and hilarious. You can hear the cars there. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? That was that was cool. Jesus, what? Wrong way, yeah, I can. I can see that. And that is pretty cool. Where do we go? Okay. This game is just crazy. Highly recommended, really. If you are into these wacky 90s car games, then I highly recommend you to try out Felony. It's just insane. Where did we go? Let's see if we're gonna make this. So, if you consider that Duck Station on Android has just been around for a couple of weeks and I'm stuck, um, then it's pretty safe to say that this is amazing performance that we get from this early version and the emulator is free. Am I gonna make this? I'm not gonna make this, am I? Jesus, this is... I haven't played this game in like forever. And I didn't make it. But what I was trying to say was that I was so close to... This emulator is really the, the best you can go with right now on Android. And maybe I can show you one more game. That is Ninja Shadow of Darkness. Oh, my rabbit just came Let's see here. And this is also a really nice classic PS1 game. Same settings work for this game, it seems. We can have widescreen and 1080p. And the other fixes too. Sound still seems to be a little glitchy. And there are some glitches here, actually. So we probably want to see what's causing that. Let's go into settings, enhancements, and what I'm thinking is that we turn off the white screen hack for now and change the aspect ratio to the original aspect ratio and see how it goes. And the glitch is still here, so it's not the white screen causing the glitch. So now I'm really wondering what might be causing this issue. Let's see. Tommy. It's going crazy. And as you can see, I figured it out. Um, it was the true color rendering 24 bit that was causing the issue. So we can turn white screen back on. So this is basically what you want to do if you notice that a game is being a little bit twitchy and you have some issues with your game. You just need to do a little trial and error and see what works and what doesn't. And then you can get your games running the most perfect way possible. And it's still acting up a little, isn't it? 
I wonder why. But down here it seems to be okay. So it just seems to be up there. And this game looks pretty good in widescreen. 1080p. Really classic PS1 beat em up, I think. Highly recommend it, just a lot of fun. And it works well. On Duck Station. I mean, I haven't played this in ages, so. And there we go, we got the key. Let's get through here. My rabbit is really coming close now. I'm recharging my phone right now, so I need to be careful that he won't bite the cable. Yep. That's why I'm getting beaten up right now. I'm pushing Tommy away. Okay, so this game seems to work pretty okay. There are some, still some glitches here, so let's hope that in a future version of the Duck Station Emulator they're gonna fix that. But these were just a couple of games I wanted to show you guys, and there are a lot more I could show you. And most of these games work really well. Some you need to run with 720p unless they might update Duck Station, which they probably will. I mean, this is a 0.1277 version I have running here. So let's hope that in future updates, the games will run even better. But I highly recommend you getting the Duck Station emulator. If you are into PS1, it runs games fairly well, especially with the upscaling and the widescreen. They look just so much better, and yeah, maybe I can show you this game and then I'll end the video here. This is Future Cop LAPD, also a little fun game I used to play on the PlayStation. And it's basically like a strategy game where you need to like conquer things, like these turrets here. You can't run. You can also play a two-player, which is fun, which I have done. Um, not on a phone because phone will be the screen will be too small. I mean, I will use my phone, but I will use a USB to HDMI cable, and then you can actually use your phone as a multiplayer device. And Especially games like Super Mario Bros. work really well in that regard. Um, yeah, this is this was just a short preview of the amazing Duck Station emulator on Android, and I died. Um, highly recommend it if you are into PlayStation One games. In my opinion, the best. I have tried a couple of the best PlayStation 1 emulator out there. So, give it a try. And I will leave, uh, as always, the download in the description. And if you found this helpful, guys, I will make a couple of more videos. Um, maybe next I'll show you guys how to run Morrowind on Android or Doom 3. Not sure yet. Um, but feel free to subscribe and post any questions and I'll see what I can do to help you. Yeah, so happy gaming, happy mobile gaming everyone, and stay safe. Thank you.